Welcome to Serenity Productions. And you have a good day, ma'am. Just, uh, remember, that one is a little finicky on occasion, so I really just suggest the sage unless you want to have a poltergeist attached to you. Uh-huh. <laughs> See you next week. Oh, hey, cutie. How'd you like that last book I recommended to you? See? I knew you were one that was into dragons. Everyone is. Surprised it only took you a day to finish that one. First one took you like, what, a week? Listen, it was your first book, so I'm not here to judge you. I've known people to stick with their first book for a good month before coming back for a new one. It's a good thing we're not a library. What am I killing on life fees already? Hmm. Maybe that's something I should bring up to Ren. Do an entire rehaul of the store and make it into a library. <laughs> hmm, don't know if she would go for that, though. She's always been of the volition that everyone should be able to bring home a piece of the magic with them. <laughs> mm-hmm. You should meet Ren. You and her would get along swimmingly. Oh? And who else would you like to meet, cutie? Ha! Huh. Yeah, I think you've met enough of my family to last you a lifetime. Two is more than enough. Tartarus, one was more than enough, but apparently the bookstore didn't want to end it there. I really don't want to talk about it, okay, cutie? Let's just say that Hermes had a really convincing idea for a prank. And me, being the idiot that I am, Went along with it, and well, you heard how that story went. Yes, he is always like that. Always has been. Always will be. I don't know how his sons put up with him. You think Hermes would have learned how to be a better father figure by doing the exact opposite of whatever our father does. Listen, hopefully the new wars I put in place will negate anyone that has my blood from showing up. Which should take care of most of the pantheon of assholes that I get to call my family. Oh please, anyone that I don't share blood with doesn't give a rat's ass about where I am or what I'm up to. I'm not even... <clears throat> Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me! You. I am convinced. All my problems, this is all you. And you're causing all this. Uh, well, you're getting your wish, and it's too late for me now to do anything. Eris. Didi? Hello, sister-in-law. Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. How in Hades did they convince you to try and get me back home? <sighs> Ares put me up to it. Said if I truly loved him, I would give it my best shot. It was a bit of a low blow, but I promised him I would. Plus, Eros misses his favorite aunt. I thought Ares wanted nothing to do with what was going on. He didn't, but then Zeus decided to get all in a hissy fit about it. And you know how your father can get. So then why hasn't he come? The portal wouldn't let him. He got all of a foot in, and the magic spat him right back out like a rag doll. Oh, right. What? That might have been this time because of me. No one that has my blood can come through, and Ares well. Well, if you want Ares to give it a try, you might want to remove that spell. Oh, maybe. All right. Cutie, this is Aphrodite. Aphrodite, this is one of my favorite-ish customers. Though right now I'm starting to think that they're my unlucky charm. 
customers. Oh, uh, this is a shop. Oh, hello, you've let yourself fall in, Aris. Right. You're now servicing mortals. Wait till Aries hears about this. Hello, mortal. My name is Aphrodite, goddess of love, lust, beauty, procreation. And I think they had the full picture at lust, sis. Right. Anyway, are you going to make me go through the spiel again, or are you going to make my life easy and just come home? Daddy, it's me. I don't care how many times you laid with Ares. That still doesn't make us right in my book. Get over yourself, Eris. I should be the one that's still holding a grudge. You pit me against Hera and Athena. Honestly, Eris, it was just a wedding. And not even a very good one at that. And you won. Why are you mad? Because I had to grovel to a mortal. Me! I mean, look at me. Do I look like I was made to grovel? What is that look for? Daddy, you are making this way too easy for me. Aries is different, and you know it. And that is not the point. We all have our job to do on the mountain, and you are neglecting yours. And you are not the only one who has had a hard life there, you know. Hephaestus is a kind and honorable man, and you're lucky enough that he turns a blind eye to yours and Aries' indiscretions. Which... You have flaunted all around Greece, not just Olympus. He's so boring, though. He never goes to any parties and just stays in his forge all day. He barely even talks to me when I'm there. Probably because, much like Hades, he prefers to be left alone. I would, too, if Hera had thrown me from the mountain. We are getting off track. Just come home. Zeus is making life unbearable for all of us, including Ares. Don't you care for your brother? My brother would know better than to try to get me to do something I don't want to do. Cutie, start helping me put the stack of books away. This isn't going to be a very long conversation. <sighs> Here she goes again. Ares only thinking about herself. The rest of us be damned. Ah, yes. Hi, Pa. I'm Kettle. Nice to meet you. What is that supposed to mean? It means that you're the exact same way, Aphrodite. You're only looking out for yourself. I most certainly do not. Do too. Even when your son found love, you couldn't let him be. You had to get involved. That is different. He was giving up his affections for a mortal. A mortal, Eris. And your point is... I've known plenty of mortals that have more honor than any of the gods on Olympus. And she defeated all your tasks. So that mortal must have had something special. Uh, you are impossible. No, I'm just stating facts. I'm not the only goddess to cause a stir. I'm just the only one right now that's not listening to Dad, which is making him pissed off. So boo-hoo, and he'll get over it and move on. He always does. He isn't moving on this time. He is adamant, Eris. Very, very adamant about it. Well, I'm very adamant about not going back. Cutie, did he get that stack done? Good. Here's the next. You're not going to change your mind on this, are you? Not probably till one of the bigger gods comes and gives you a piece of their mind. I highly doubt they would take time out of their busy schedules to deal with me directly. Now, sis, would you like to go back home the easy way, or I could send you back the same way I sent Hermes? Fine. You're in one of your moods. No one can talk to you when you're like this. So, send me the nice way home, please. Thank you. And tell Ares not to come. You tried, and he can't hold this against you. Well... I appreciate that, but I doubt he will believe me until you are home. And even after that. He will, Didi. Just tell him where I hid his favorite shield and he'll know I'm telling the truth. And where are you hiding it? In Hades Vault. <laughs> By the gods, Eris, he might actually kill you this time. 
Bye, diary. <sighs> okay, well, maybe not one of the gods I'm most pissed off with. Thank you. I appreciate that. But seriously, get over it, Dad. I'm not coming back. All right, you. I'm running several different spells on you. I know you're the catalyst for this because it only started happening once you came into the shop. So sit your butt down, and I'm going to run some tests. Don't worry, none of them will hurt. Maybe. <laughs> it's a joke, it's a joke, it's a joke. Calm, calm, okay. Maybe let's not make that joke with you again, okay? It's, everything's fine, let's just go get you something to drink. <laughs> 